it's Shui here and today I would like to share with you three steps on how you can better communicate your feelings to the people that you care or the people who you love. Because growing up in an Asian family, and I know a lot of you and a lot of my clients are from Asian families, we are trained to sort of like deal things with ourselves. A lot of times it became a norm to not talk about your feelings, not talk about the emotions or whatever, the things that are sort of like bugging you with your family members. And what happens is that a lot of times when you're really stressed up, maybe about work, maybe about relationships, maybe about your own internal issues, and then your family member just comes to you and asks you something about about the house or something about the chores or something about anything and you start going oh don't talk to me i don't want to talk to you right now and say just leave me alone right and we go ahead and have all sorts of emotions even though we don't mean it but at the end of the day because of our current mood and we don't know how to deal with it we sort of like push people away or we annoy them the other way around or there's also times where you feel really, really, really annoyed by some people and you don't really know how to tell them how you're feeling or you don't really know how to express to them how are their actions affecting you. So today in these three steps, I'm going to guide you so that you're able to at least take this skill with you and practice them to improve your relationships. So step number one is to reflect on your own moods and understand why you're feeling certain emotions what is building up within you and what is it that you really want to tell the person so for example one of your family members might make you feel very very annoyed because they don't seem to understand what you're saying and it goes on and on every single time and so what happens is that a lot of times we just snap and say you don't understand me and then we just storm away so think about it. How is that helping you in this scenario? By you stomping away, they don't understand you even more and they go back and they dwell upon it and say, why don't I understand my own daughter, my own husband, my own son, my own father, right? And what happens is that it brings no value. So understand why are you doing all this time? Why are you doing the same thing again and again that are sort of like not helping the situation? And sort of understanding what do you want to achieve from this? Do you want to tell this person so that they don't do it anymore? Do you want to tell them so that they understand and that's it? So reflecting what is it that you want to tell and why, it, why are you feeling? Like what's the need to tell these things? Because what solutions do you want to see happen? Step two is finding the right timing to talk about it because a lot of times we have ourselves all psyched up okay i want to do this i want to do this let's go do it and then we walk towards the person that we want to talk to and they are right in the middle of something they are stressed out because of work or they themselves they are preparing for dinner or the day i was walking um with a, with one of my friends and i was talking about it and he was like this is not the right time because we are doing all these things we are in the midst of doing this and you're bringing up this sensitive topic, what are you trying to achieve here, right? And so find the right timing for that person and also for yourself. Because sometimes we're not in the right mood. And when you're not in the right mood, you don't exactly come out with the right tone. And the conversations can go quite bad, okay? So find, understand the true reason why you want to communicate this and understand what you're feeling and what you want to get out of it find the right timing to talk about it and the third one which is the most important one is i'm going to teach you a structure for you to communicate in a way that doesn't offend people but at the same time releases what you want to say and this is basically a three sentence structure the first part is sort of like stating the fact something that you see something that you hear something that you smell or tasted something that you noticed that the person cannot dispute okay and the second part of the structure is telling them the feeling so what does that make you feel and it usually it starts with i feel this is this this and that and the third part of the structure is telling them what you wish or what you hope, what's the solution that may help you feel more at peace, whether or not they accept it at the end, but this is something that you feel that you hope happens. 
So let me give you a few different examples so that you can bring all of this together. So an example can be that, hey honey, I mean, I just want to tell you, I just want to be honest with you that every single time I hear you scold the kids, I feel frustrated because that's not the way that I hope my kids grow up with by being scolded by their parents. And so I hope that from today onwards, if you're feeling frustrated or anything like that, talk to me first so our anger or your anger can be lesson when you convey the message to your kids. They are innocent in that way and I feel that if we can go through this together and if we can find a solution that works, why not? So I'll give you another example, it can be that, hey, um, I got something to tell you. I notice that you are leaving the dishes on at the sink all the time and I feel that this is very non-respecting of the people living in the house and I hope that you can wash the dishes as soon as you put them in because that will help a lot of us living in the same house to feel much more respected and we will feel better um, and, and that will foster a better relationship. Okay, obviously these are very simple examples that you can use with anybody. So just remember these three ways or three steps for you to better communicate. So the first thing is understand what, is, what are you feeling and what you want to get out of telling the person about it. The second part is to find the right timing so that both you and the person that you want to talk to are in the right state of mind. And then the third is using that structure so that you don't offend them but and you don't feel defensive. You're merely just stating a fact or you're stating something that is non-disputable and you're basically telling them what and how that affected your feelings and emotions and tell them the wish. What do you want to see happen? And work through that together. So remember, or any relationship boils down to communication. You want a good relationship, you communicate, you find a way that you both or all of you can communicate better or you communicate effectively and you will have a good relationship. All right, so that's it for me today. So if you want more content, do subscribe, uh, click on the link below and subscribe to our channel and do stay tuned to more videos that we're gonna release really soon. Bye, take care.